We're here at CBS 2016 in Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Mr. Francis Wangusi, who is the Director General of the Communications Authority of Kenya. Mr. Wangusi, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you very much for inviting me to this studio. And it's a pleasure to see you again. Thank you, sir. I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, this symposium. It's being held in Kenya. Uh, I just wanted to, to find out uh, why Kenya? Why, why, do you th why do you think you're a, a good venue for, for this particular kind of subject? Uh, first of all, I want to um, appreciate and thank uh, ITU for choosing Kenya as a venue for this symposium. Uh, we are glad that uh, we are the sixth uh, in the role of holding uh, such a capacity building symposium. But I must say that as Kenya we are pleased that this symposium is held here because of a number of reasons. We ourselves are very active in uh, uh, ensuring that uh, ICT uh, is being used seriously as an enabler in helping us achieve our own Vision 2030 goals. And as a member of the United Nations, uh, we heavily subscribe to the Sustainable Development Goals and we believe that ICT will be able to help us reach there. But we appreciate as we try to integrate ICT in a number of our social economic activities, the challenges that are being posed every now and then. As a regulator, I think we sit in between those challenges and, and therefore, uh, having a team of experts, academia, uh, and other industry players, uh, you know, coming to Kenya to be able to discuss a couple of these things and share their experiences on how they have been able to circumvent some of these challenges around the globe is sincerely a very important aspect to us that uh, we would want to say that this symposium never came at a right time than this. There seems to be an incredible amount of energy here mm -hmm. for innovation, for technology. There's an ICT hub here that I know was recently visited yes. by Mark Zuckerberg mm -hmm. from Facebook. Mm -hmm. There is uh, a great deal of, uh, 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 certainly uh, it seems, uh, of enthusiasm and energy mm -hmm. for this kind of subject. I just really wanted to ask you, there have been a number of conversations here, a lot of great sessions. Mm -hmm. What are the kind of messages that are coming across at the moment? Ideally, I, I think uh, uh, the messages that have come across is that everybody is really encountering challenges uh, in uh, as far as uh, the ICT's applications are concerned. The ICT technologies are evolving every day and they are touching on every aspect from academia to industry to policy making and name it. And in all this, I think uh, the challenges appear to be uniform across. Uh, and indeed, um, much as it, it, it is an informative and capacity building session, it is also a, a very good avenue through which people are being informed of various developments that are taking place. I'm happy that uh, uh, the academia have even talked on quite pertinent topics uh, like uh, universities without walls. Something that uh, even us here in Kenya are trying to implement in order to make sure that as many people in Kenya as possible, as many youth in Kenya as possible are able to access uh, this kind of uh, education uh, even irrespective of the backgrounds where they come from. Of course, one, uh, one thing that is quite conspicuous is the fact that uh, we are all accepting that uh, uh, policy making is always coming behind innovations in the ICT technologies. And therefore, since we are laggards, in most cases, um, uh, we tend to be outpaced. And therefore, how do we make sure that we run alongside with the developments in technologies? We have also uh, seen uh, the proprietors of internet, uh, how they have dealt with the uh, issue of internet at first. They, st they started with the internet being democratic. Today they are facing different challenges 
Now, the democracy of internet is no longer an issue. The issues that have come up as a result of the model that we took in governing the internet uh, are also becoming insurmountable and different approaches need to be thought about. And this, I think, clearly even from the presentations that we had uh, from uh, the Internet Forum was quite excellent in giving us opportunities to learn that everybody is beginning to realize what is free is really not necessarily free unless uh, there are certain mechanisms put in place to make it correctly free. So um, we have also looked at the centers of excellence, how they are performing in trying to make sure that uh, uh, um, the issue of ICTs uh, is not only being understood by the practitioners, but it is also you know, understood and utilized properly by the consumers. And all these things, I think, together make it a very interesting chapter for us, uh, not only in Kenya, but I think the entire Africa, to see the experiences that we can get from the Americas, from the Asia, from Asia, from Europe, and uh, name it. And even uh, we ourselves as Africans sharing the different experiences we are getting as a result of this um, uh, utilization of the ICT technologies. So are you infused with the optimism that's permeating this symposium with uh, regards to capacity building on a global basis? Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, uh, I tend to think that uh, uh, this symposium should be progressed um, in a manner that, uh, you know, uh, every other year or every other after the year, uh, 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 at least it's, be, it's held somewhere for people to be able to discuss the new developments that happen in this field of uh, ICTs. And as I said earlier, ICT is key in the achievement of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And for us to share all these experiences, uh, for us to look at how we can make sure that uh, capacity building in the ICT sector to ICT practitioners, to ICT consumers, to ICT policy makers uh, is uh, making them uh, uh, relevant to the situation as it arises every now and then uh, is, uh, uh, is, is to me what we really need at any other time to inform ourselves in order to be able to utilize and optimize the utilization of ICT's property. Francis Wangusi, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.